And this week's video is another quad cortex video. Now, the reason for this is since I've had it, I've been playing with it every day. I just want to play my guitar through it, which you can't say better than that for a new piece of gear. If it inspires you to play, that's really what you want out of it. Also, I've been listening to a lot of Hendrix, so I thought, I wonder if I can get a Hendrixy, Stevie Ray Vaughan-y type sound out of this. Those are the sounds that I've struggled with using plugins on my computer because you've always got latency issues and you need a bit of feedback off the amp. So I decided to try and set up a sound that I was happy with. I've done a track, then I will go over what I've done on the Quad Cortex with a preset that I've set up. I'll put it on my profile on the Neural DSP website, which is TJ Walker, so you can download it. So here we go. So here's what I did to set this sound up. I started off with a Marshall uh, 50 watt plexi, normal. So that's the amp on its own. Through a 4x12 cab. I haven't adjusted these presets really. I've probably adjusted some of the settings on the amp, but I haven't adjusted the preset on the cabinet. So that's what, that's what that sounds like on its own. And if I back it off, on the middle pickup on the Strat, down to about seven on the volume. 
Then up to full again. But what I did using the kind of Steve Ray Vaughan principle is I added a second amp. So this is what it sounds like. I back it off slightly. And what that is, is a Fender Super on the vibrato channel, bright switch on, and a 2x10 cab, and I've put just a spring reverb in between. That's, this is cleaned up on the middle pickup. And if I put the guitar on full volume. So that's the sound on its own. At the beginning of the track I played with the volume kind of on about seven, seven or eight. So if I go back to the scene that's got all the effects on it, I tend to put this ambient reverb at the end as well. It makes it sound more like it's in the room rather than directly in your headphones. Really the reason I wanted to create this sound is just it, it's a tricky sound to get with um, with plugins because you can't, don't get any reaction off the amp um, especially if you're using headphones so by adding the ambience it kind of makes it feel like it's in the room so it gives it makes it feel even more like you're using an amp. So if I switch this back to stomp mode which is where I had it so this is the different stomps I've got. Let's go through them. So I put a wah, which I've assigned to use, go in here, assign an expression pedal. I've got it assigned to expression pedal one. This is the bubble wah, which doesn't seem to be working there. That's because I haven't turned it on. Here we go. That's like the Jim Dunlop one. So I assume that was probably the closest one to Hendrix would have used. Then here I've got a tube screamer. Now th that's more like a Steve Ray Vaughan edition because obviously Hendrix wouldn't have had that. But just particularly with the wah, it kind of gives it. Just that extra bit of boost. Then with it. Then these next two blocks, I put them on these two pedals so I could press them down together. This was in an attempt to imitate the kind of Octavia thing. So that's the fi Fuzz Pi, which is like the fuzz pedal. Um, can't remember which one, it's the round face one. Can't remember what it's called. And then an Octavia. Octave, and I'll put the uh, octave above. We can maybe put the. I don't think the pedals have the octave that high, so that's why I dropped it down a little bit. There we are. And then let's turn those ones off. And this one. This is the uh, Univibe, so that's on this pedal. And what I did, I assigned the expression pedal. I've only got one expression pedal at the moment, so I assigned that to the uh, the rate. Which, what it does on this, if you you can assign it to multiple things. So when I've got the wire on as well, which. You know, it might be better to have them on separate pedals, but I thought it was quite a good effect actually having them both on. Um, so that's that's a nice sounding effect. So you 
go from that nice sort of phasey. And then finally, I put some delay on, just a tape delay, almost like a slap. Which I think I forgot to turn on when I was doing the track, but. So let's just put it into stomp mode so you can see. So here we are with the one. So there we are. I shall upload this. My username on the neural website is TJ Walker. So I'll upload this. I'll just call it Hendrix. So if you want to download it, it will be on there, available. Okay. I hope you liked the sound of that preset. If you did, please head over and download it. I'll make it available under my username, TJ Walker, on the Neural DSP website. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like, leave me a comment. If there's any other presets you'd like me to try and set up, um, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Also, hit subscribe so you know when I've got a new video coming out, which I do weekly. So I will see you on the video next week.